You know how every few months the robotics world drops some shiny new humanoid, and the whole internet argues about whether it walks like a toddler or a terminator? Well, today's story is not about a new robot body. It's about something way more important, the brain. Because tucked away in Zurich, a small team is working on something that honestly feels like a cheat code for the entire robotics industry. They're called flexion, and they're not building arms, legs, or fancy metal skeletons. They're building the thing every humanoid robot desperately needs, but almost none truly have, the intelligence layer. Let me break this down in the simplest possible way. Right now, most robots, even the impressive ones, are basically giant if-this-then-that machines. They follow scripts. They memorize choreographed moves. If the world behaves like the lab, they look amazing. If a box is two inches to the left, they glitch like a confused NPC. Flexion saw this and said, yeah, no, robots need to think, not memorize. So instead of writing code for every possible scenario, they've built a three-layer autonomy stack that teaches robots how to handle situations the way humans do. Interpret, plan, act, and adapt when things get messy. Let's start with the command layer. This is basically where robots learn how to understand what we actually want. Not stiff commands like pick box, move forward, rotate 90 degrees. No, Flexion uses language understanding to break down tasks in a very human way. Okay. You want the robot to clear this shelf? Cool. Here's the order of steps. Here's what to watch for. Here's what matters. Then it flows into the motion layer, which is trained on mountains of synthetic data. Imagine millions of simulated scenarios. Slippery floors, weird angles, objects falling, drop shadows, all the stuff that makes real-world robotics painful. The robot practices in simulation until these situations feel familiar and then Flexion tunes it with real-world corrections so it doesn't freak out when something unexpected happens. And finally, the control layer. This part is insane. Instead of teaching a robot arm a thousand single actions, now rotate, now grip, now lift, Flexion has a modular skill library that lets robots combine learned abilities on the fly. Almost like a musician improvising with notes they already know. So here's the big question. Does this mean we're done manually coding robots? Not in the dramatic goodbye engineers way, but honestly, yeah. This is the closest we've ever been to robots that learn tasks rather than being programmed step by step. It's the difference between teaching someone how to cook and forcing them to read a recipe every single time they crack an egg. Now. Here's where things get even more interesting. Flexion just raised 43 million euros to scale this system. That's not small robotic startup money. That's everyone in the industry better pay attention money. Why? Because Flexion's tech works across any robot body. German, Chinese, American, you name it. It doesn't care if the robot has three fingers or five wheels or legs, human-like structure, or warehouse-style grippers. It isn't tied to one manufacturer, which instantly turns flexion into the android of humanoid brains. And let's be real, humanoid hardware is exploding. Figure, Tesla, Agibot, Unitree, UB Tech, everyone is building bodies. But without a universal intelligence layer, they'll stay stuck doing rehearsed demos. Flexion is basically saying, give us the body, we'll give it a mind. And here's the part nobody wants to say out loud. The entire world is heading into a massive labor shortage. Factories, logistics hubs, hospitals, they all need adaptable, trainable robots. Not rigid automatons, not teleoperated puppets, actual helpers. If Flexion pulls this off, and honestly, the early signs look extremely promising, this could be the moment robotics stops being about cool demos and finally becomes something that scales like software. The kind of shift where, years from now, we look back and go, oh, wow. That was when robots stopped being programmed and started being taught. So is this the end of manual coding for robots? Maybe not today, 
but the writing is definitely on the wall. And that handwriting is Swiss.